Usagi Saki used to like to use his wits to get everything. He didn't really want to hunt. He didn't want to do this. He didn't want to do that. He was uh, very proud in the things that he wanted to do that he could accomplish using his wits. So this one day he was seeing a whole bunch of ducks in a pond and he wanted to get one of them. So he, there was a bunch of bulrushes there and he crawled through the bulrushes sneaking up on them and they were all eating. And he was just really close within range and he was just going to grab that duck when he farted it. And of course all the ducks took off and, and they, they saw it, spotted him. Ah, oh, he said, Wisaki Itzak, you're up to something again. He said, you're trying to get us, you know, trying to eat us. And Wisaki Itzak said, no, no, my brothers, I would never do that to you. I was trying to show you something, there's a, a special medicine that would make you the handsomest ducks that there is anywhere. And he said, oh, yeah, 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 you know, you're just trying to trick us. We know what you're up to. And Wisaki said, oh, no, 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 not. As a matter of fact, he said, this uh, medicine that I carry, I have to go replenish it, he said. So I'm going to leave, he said. I'm not going to come back. He said, someday you will regret not giving me the opportunity to use this medicine on you. So he left, but he didn't go too far. He was waiting for them. So eventually they came back. He thought he was gone, and he started eating again. So again he sneaked through the bulrushes. Just when he was going to grab that duck, again he farted, and they scared him away. And oh, of course they knew. He said, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, we suck it, suck it. You're up to no good again. You're trying to, you're trying to kill us. And of course he denied it. And tried to, all his stories of, you know, I have this for you, I have that for you. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to enhance your life. And they wouldn't believe. It. So again he left. But he, again he didn't go far. He went into hiding. This time it took a lot longer for the ducks to come back. But when it, they felt safe, they came back. Because they were hungry too, and they had to eat. So again, Wisaki Tsaki started going. And he went into the water, through the bulrushes. Of course, these ducks were kind of wary, and still on alert. And of course, they saw him, spotted him right away. But he farted, eh? Again, when he farted, they scared the ducks away. So he was really, really angry at himself. So he got off went on dry land, got some wood, got a great big rock, piled the wood all around that rock, and he lit it. And it blazed really, and that rock got really, really hot, red hot. And he was going to shut himself up, eh? so he wouldn't fart no more, so he went and sat on that rock. But when he sat on that rock, of course he burnt himself. And he just hollered and he took off. Eh? And he was gone for quite a while was wandering around again. He was still hungry, never satisfied. He's hungry. So when he came back, he noticed these two strips on the rock. And he thought it was that kakiwaki, that dry meat, eh? smoked meat. So he grabbed it and he started eating it. And uh, these little birds were sitting on a branch and they started singing to him. And they were saying, Wisaki tsa homiki mitsu which means that Wisaki Tsak is eating the scabs, and that's what it means. Eh? And that, you can hear the birds today, they sing that song. Eh? If you ever go into a meadow or something, there's little brown birds, I don't know what you call them. I don't know if they're meadow larks or whatever, I'm not sure what you call them, but they, you can hear them singing that song. Wisaki Tsak, They go like that, eh? And of course Wisaki Tsak said, oh, no, 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 that's not what's going on here. He said, this is, this meat has been given to me. My uncle gave it to me. He said, he left it here on a rock for me to pick up. He said, you know, that's why he was eating that. You know. So that's that's how the birds came to have that song, you know, because of what Wisaki Tzak did. So that's one story about Wisaki Tzak that my grandmother used to tell us. There's others, you know. There's others, but that, I remember that one. Did you ever hear the birds when you're out in the bush? Oh, yeah, I, I hear uh, they're, they're more in a meadow, eh? as opposed to the bush. More in, in the meadows, it's kind of a meadow bird, and he flies really low. And he flies from bush to bush, eh? and they sing that there. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear them. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. Thank you.